The defect in that one is dead turkeys. Correct. That's Deer Creek water. Yes. This water is absolutely delicious and perfect and potable. I could drink this water every day. Correct. That's Provo City water. Chances are you drank a glass of water, took a shower, or flushed the toilet this morning without ever stopping to think where that water comes from or where it goes when you're done with it. But where does the water come from? We here at Provo City spend so much time making your lives awesome. My internet is so fast. That the basic necessities, you know, like running water and stuff, are taken for granted. But it turns out clean, running, drinkable, hey Michael, water is a really big deal. A really big deal. The city uses billions and billions and billion, billion of gallons of water every year. In the month of July alone, we use more than 1.5 billion gallons of water. That's 50 million gallons a day. Every day. <laughs> That's enough to fill this pool 400 times a day. That's 400 times every day. We'd have to see once every three and a half minutes. It's important to note that all the wells in the city can only produce about 32,000 gallons of water per minute, compared to the 39,000 gallons of water per minute per day that we're already using. But a master plan recently completed for our city recommends several projects which would help keep up with the growing demands for water in Provo City. And what happens to all that water when we're done with it? It comes here. The water reclamation plant, which takes old, yucky, dirty water and makes it sparkly and magical. Well, it's magical because it's clean again. But we have some basic housekeeping that needs to take place. Wouldn't you agree? Turns out, facilities like this haven't been repaired or upgraded in well over 35 years. That means the last time it was upgraded, people were listening to My Sharona and wearing leg warmers for the first time. I don't think it's broken, but it feels like I sprayed. Come over here and attend to my foot. Here's how it all <laughs> breaks down. Take a look at this. Here's the Provo City water budget. As revenue is generated, most of the funds are spent on keeping the status quo, distributions, operations, and system upgrades. As it sits, the Public Works Department doesn't have enough money to improve safety standards and sustainability. In fact, by 2015, the majority of the funds will be in a negative balance. You call that sustainable? During the day, the water tanks fill with fresh spring water. During the night, the water usage escalates, straining the wells almost to the point of depletion. Keep in mind that 60% of the water that we use goes to landscaping. If we could just learn to save a little bit, just a little bit, think of the difference that we could make. Think of all the water we could save. Stop watering the cement. I don't know. Don't water your lawn when it's raining outside. Don't let them tell you you can't do it. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do it, because it can be done. And one other thing, these wells provide two-thirds of the water to the city of Provo. That's right, wells. You might not know it, but there's another well right here. They're very important as far as getting water to the people of Provo. If something goes wrong with these babies and you live in Provo, chances are you'll be out of luck. So that means that there's an immediate need for additional storage, which will protect us in case of a major water emergency. And that's a good thing, right? Right? Naturally, all of these necessary improvements do come at a cost. Ah. There will be a slight rise in your water rates. And just water, your rate's gonna be? Uh, water? Get it? So how are we gonna pay for additional storage to keep us safe and watered in the event of an emergency and safely treat that water when we're done with it? This translates into one low payment of $7 a month for the average household. So call now and you too can help ensure Provo stays nice and moist, like this delicious cake. When you add $7 a month to what's already one of the lowest water rates in the entire state, what you get is a great, reliable water system. And the rates are still comparatively low. It just makes sense! Get it? Sense? If you could just cut back on your water usage, you probably wouldn't even notice the $7 a month. Cut your water in time by 10 minutes. You could shave a minute or two off your shower. <laughs> Mama would have loved that joke. There really is so much to love about life here in Provo, so let's keep it going for generations to come.